The names that you are about to hear lost their life in a very sad and tragic way. They are mother Nicola Clark, daughter, 24-year-old, 24-year-old Nicola James, daughter Saraya Wright, 13-year-old, Kadim Patterson, 4-year-old, as a matter of fact, the day that he lost his life was actually his birthday. I am going to go to my intro and then I am going to come back and give you the full details of how this family of four lost their life one time in some sorts of gang feud that is taking place in a place called Central Village. Pshi, puppy, 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 puppy. Kepasa, sak, say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. Like I said at the intro, mother, two daughter, and her grandson lost their life in Central Village. Based on what persons are saying, this is because of some sorts of reprisal. For some sorts of tool, at least three tools and one individual losing his life and ten other individuals getting locked up. It seems as if these people have come to the conclusion saying that the people them from the opposite side, the other side, might have told the popo, dropped some information upon the popo, given the popo some sorts of intelligence. That was what led to them losing their tool. Now, people, if there's one thing that we know about these garrison, whenever any sorts of tool is missing, people are going to pay for it with cash and in most times, tragically, by their life. Now, this all started back on Monday when a lady sitting on her veranda, she was blazed up after a week before that or a couple of days before that. The Popo did some sorts of JCF, JDF, military operation, CC stool, lock up these persons. One person lost their life. So the first reprisal was on Monday. Two people. That lady that got conned up on her veranda, she is presently in the hospital nursing her wounds in very bad condition. It is also said on that same Monday, a next man, he was in his house and lost his life like the four persons that lost their life the Thursday to follow. So therefore, these two people, one get caught up, one get caught up, low swim life, all sorts of bottle B-O-O-M in him house, just like the four on Thursday, three days later. Based on what the residents are saying, at about 1 a.m. in the wee hours of the morning, they heard all sorts of screaming. It seems as if it might have been the 13-year-old. The 13-year-old attended Jose Marti High School. She was in 7th grade. That means her first farm, them used to call it. Now, based on what the Paul Paul report said and what the fire brigade is surmising, she ran into the bathroom, tried to turn on the shower, tried to hide, hopefully, that the water would have stopped the blazing inferno. It was an exercise in futility. She lost her life. Based on what the fire brigade said, when they went to the premises, did some sorts of cooling down operation, they found three persons on the veranda. The veranda, the whole house was grilled up like most houses in a Jamaica, especially in a the garrison. You know, and people broken out your place and teeth out your stuff and you feel that it is safer. Now, people, when I listen to this incident, I am assuming that these persons were held under the rest. That means that they might have been held under GUN points. Don't know if the persons fling all sorts of B-O-T-T-L-E boom in the house like them call it through different windows, through different doors. I am assuming that they might have been in the house. Probably tie up these people, tell them don't move. Lock the grill with all sorts of padlock. Set the place on fire and then exit and watch as these persons B-U-R-N to D-E-A-T-H. Knowing that if them come out, if them even stand a chance to come out, more than likely they would have been blazed up. A lot of times them blaze up the people them first and then set the house on F-I-R-E. 
So it tells me that these persons did not have any sorts of key for any sorts of padlock. So therefore, they pretty much lost their life in a very dreadful way. Now, the very disturbing thing about incidents like these is as if it has become normalized. Four people from one sort of family lose them life. We not hear nothing from the prime minister. We not hear nothing from the security minister. We not hear nothing from the commissioner of Popo. Yes, the MP for the era, she says, that she's trying to bring some sorts of peace in a compound that vicinity is called. The mayor for the era said that he has never seen anything like this. And he wants to bring back normalcy to the place. People, the truth and the fact is that most of these residents that live in these areas know who these gangsters are, know who is holding all sorts of guns, knows all the criminal elements. It is sometimes fear or sometimes they just facilitate the F-U-C-K-R-Y until it reaches their doorstep until it comes and it haunts them because that is usually the case especially in a this case point blank and period further on in the news it is called fully done takes on a new twist for the wasara now people i don't know if these gangsters are getting dunsa and dunsa and maybe they used to travel in a the big yellow bus when they used to go to school. However, the dunce culture is spilling out in a the street in a place called Grange Hill, which is in Westmoreland. Now, people, when you think about the fact that the schools in a Westmoreland, at least two schools, Grange Hill Primary School and also Grange Hill High School, the high school closed because of precaution, because of some sorts of warning that they got on WhatsApp, on social media, pertaining to people planning to do some sorts of A-S-S-A-U-L-T on the primary school. Now, people, you and I as average citizens, we would know that, listen, more than likely, the possibilities of children under the age of six or seven or 12 year old, sorry, is any sorts of gang is going to be minimal. However, these people plan, put out some sorts of trade on social media, WhatsApp to be specific, that they were going to pretty much blaze up the school. And the fact that an incident happened earlier where two vehicles were sprayed up, some student from that school was also in the vehicle. Luckily, nobody got hurt. Now, people, if you know anything about Grange Hill, West Milan, it is one of those volatile communities. There are two gangs operating in that vicinity. They are the King Valley and also Hans Posse Gang. They are bitter rivals. So, therefore, sporadically, it flares up, then it goes back dormant. However, it seems as if there's been an upsurge of violence in the era lately. At least five people or so lost their life. And if you remember a couple of years ago, well, maybe about 2020, 2018 or so, at least seven persons lost their life on one day within a 24-hour span. So therefore, the people them said them now take no chance, them now take no check on people. We definitely cannot blame them. So people, like I said, in two days, five persons lost their life. Vehicle with student gets sprayed up at least two vehicles, even though none of them lost their life, luckily. So this is an abundance of caution that was being taken by the people. It is said that on Tuesday, after they got the news, the place, Grange Hill, the high school turned in a some sorts of ghost town. Vendor gone, nobody not did it. When you got it, it looked like some sorts of B O M N drop down there. We are talking about Chernobyl or wherever it called that place in a Russia. Bad pronunciation, obviously. So the people them said them not take any sorts of chance. According to what the ACP for the era, his name is Clifford Chambers. He said that the two gangs they have some people in which he wants to talk to. They are Demar Thomas, 
They are Romain Murray, known as Bartes, LaShawn Warren, known as Dodeman, kind of weird name, from the Hans Passigang Bowler, Charlton Dixon, Keneal White, name Grabber, Leon Grayson, Menonophim O C A K A. So, people, can you imagine? These people, these gang, especially King Valley gang, I think that they were indicted a couple of years ago and most of them bust the case. So people, this is exactly what happens when you give menace to society a second chance when you're supposed to bust them like balloon. It comes back and it haunts you. Hopefully, the people in the community would get some sort of semblance of order because right now upon the ground appear JCF, JDF, police and military upon the ground trying to make sure that everything is safe and secure. Schools, there is no source of date announced when the school is going to be reopened. However, they are presently doing online school and people, you know that that is going to be problematic for most persons that don't have any source of internet connectivity and even no source of credits. So people, as soon as I get some more pertinent information, I'll be sure to divulge ASAP, point blank and period. Further on in the news, it seems as if the gangster culture, the fully done culture, the bad man culture is hitting Jamaica by storm. And it seems as if it has transferred to the political platform. Now, truth be told, when it comes to supporters of the JLP, PNP, they are not the sharpest tools on the shed. They are some misled sheep that will put their lives at risk and do anything for the benefit of party. It is party over safety, party over life, party over everything, including family. So they had a swearing ceremony for the KSAMC in which they were swearing in the mayor and the acting mayor, vice mayor, whatever it is called. There were supporters from both parties there. As a matter of fact, earlier, before the swearing thing start, ceremony started, they were singing and dancing together, drinking Jerry and Neville, bouncing to Juna blood, Juna Reed, one blood. However, people, as soon as the swearing in ceremony started, things changed for the Wasara. It is said that the mayor was swearing in first from the PNP, the people am are real up. However, when it was time for the acting mayor from the JLP to be swearing in, sworn in, the PNP who was holding the tent at the front. They were bomb rushed, bombarded by the people from the JLP because pretty much they were telling the people, listen, only need for move up, phone the people swearing already, so therefore it is our time. Exit stage left are back out. Now people, based on the information, it is said that all sorts of fish start to fly, all sorts of elbow, all sorts of karate, all sorts of stuff. The Popo had to intervene and block off the people and separate them by all sorts of barrier and barricade just so that they can have the ceremony comments. Just so that these people would not K-I-L-L off each other. So people, like I said, it was a big B-R-A-W-L. Wally pa people get hurt. Wally pa people get B-L-O-O-D up. However, the funny thing is that Nobody got arrested. Nobody got charged. But you and I already know, when it comes to popo and politics, the supporters are graded, are given a hall pass, are get out of jail free pass because of political links. Because who is going to lock up anybody from the PNP and the JLP when the JLP and the PNP pretty much have the popo in their pockets? So people, this tells you when it comes to swearing in, these people take it on a different level. They think that you are supposed to literally swear, cuss, bring all sorts of contents and all sorts of F-U-S-S and F-I-G-H-T. So people, there goes the theory of some sorts of 
clean and peaceful election out through the door done and dusted point blank and period further on in the news a very disturbing video has been making its round on social media what it shows is two individuals that are gagged and tied seems as if them use them shirt or pants well not their pants they had on their jeans however one of them was shirtless the next one was also h-e-a-d less so therefore them take off him head them take off him crown Based on what persons are saying that sent this video, it was taking place in a dem beholding people. It looked like it fresh, fresh, meaning within the last 24 hours ago or so. Don't know the details, what they did or who did it to them. But as soon as I get some more pertinent information, I'll be sure to divulge ASAP. However, before I go, I am going to warn you. Whenever you are involved in any sorts of bad stuff, gang activity there are a bunch of snakes it is a high risk high reward whether you're a gunman whether you're a stick up kid so therefore do not complain especially family members when you are the beneficiaries of the proceeds of crime there are pros and cons to everything and then again these people might also be innocent people but usually wherever there is smoke there is fire so therefore me doubt it them do somebody something or somebody deem them to have violated them in a some sorts of way and d-e-a-t-h was the sentence point blank and period so anyways people thanks once again for checking out my video if you appreciate videos like these Please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.